Shalom. Um, just uh, waking up and um, just felt led to just share something to encourage um, men out here who find it difficult waking up in the mornings. Um, recently, you know, it's uh, in all transparency, it's been difficult for me um, just mentally and emotionally had a lot of uh, disappointments, not a lot, I would say about two, one was heavy um was expecting something to happen uh, really had a lot of hope and, and prayer in it and it didn't happen at the time that uh i and uh, many others had hoped as a result of that when we put our hope in things or um yeah that's a good way to say it when we put our hope in things or even hope in our, our, our goals. Uh, and when they don't come to fruition, um, it could take us down emotionally and mentally. And that's life. Things happen, whether you want the best for your, your child or the best for your marriage, the best career you can have at your job. Things don't always go the way as we, we plan them to go. Which is why I'm thankful I'm a man of the most high because it says, uh, the scriptures say, commit your plans to the Lord and he will establish them or Adonai and he will establish them. Unfortunately, many of us uh, will say, I call them touch and go prayers, where we ask the most high for what we want, ask him to do what we, what we need and then hang up the phone, just touch and run uh, or touch and go. Instead of staying there, making our requests known to him, yet still sit there to hear from him, to see if they even align with his will, not just for our lives, but even for that moment. And when you're, when you're really down and you're depressed, it's hard to get up in the mornings. It's hard to get up and say, man, I got to go another day knowing that this didn't happen, knowing that I don't have the resources I need to do this or to, or to live this way to help others or just to have a job or career that you feel that Yah is calling you to do. When we're in a soulless state or led by our emotions instead of walking by the spirit, we're easily shaken. It's hard for us to maintain the fortitude and endurance needed to follow Yahushua or whom the world calls Jesus. And um, when you're distracted by your own desires that don't align with his will, it's easy for us to get into a depressed state. And when we're in a depressed state, faith goes, the will to live goes, anxiety increases, stress seems to always stay just daunting, or you can be in a distressed state so it's um it's imperative and, and this is this is my advice to you this is what i do and had to do to come out of that state i had to remember all that i my entire life coming out of the world coming out of just walking in darkness into now finally walking in light I had to stop being anxious for everything. Caring for my mother with dementia, something that was out of control, was one of the main things the Most High used to teach me to live in the moment and to pray without ceasing. Was that like a, a moment I prayed for? I never prayed for my mother to have depression uh, so that I could be a comprehensive, the comprehensive man I am today. But I tell you the truth, without that experience, all that I went through those six to seven years, I, I couldn't have handled the pressure, the public pressure that I have now, or the expectations, or helping all the boys that come to the cave of Adullam that I serve. I couldn't have handled it. I couldn't have handled having a documentary filmed on my life. I couldn't, couldn't have handled that same documentary 
that we prayed and hoped for would reach hundreds of thousands of people and that those people will be so moved that they would give to our nonprofit. None of that happened. I couldn't have handled it without leaning on the Most High. So Philippians 4, 4 through 8, that's what I have to lean on when I'm in those times where I feel like I just can't get out the bed. I can't be anxious for anything. I got to make all of my requests known to Yah who is in heaven. And with thanksgiving, not just a somber, just saddened spirit, but just to start thinking on the things that he has blessed me with. The adversity that I've overcame, the trials and the test. And then uh, 4, 8, Philippians 4, 8, I got to stop thinking on all the negative things, all the things that, you know, that happened to me, the trauma, always trying to fight the time travel to like right now in this moment. I've overcome those things. That's why the scriptures say, uh, Philippians 4, 8, that we are to think on those things that are good, not bad. The brain automatically is thinking on all the negatives around us to keep us safe. That's why the scriptures tell us to think on those things that are good. No one has to tell us to think on the things that are bad. So I encourage you, man, stay in that. When you're down, stay there. And then not only just read it, but pray. If you don't understand, pray for discernment. And this is if you're a man of the most high, because if you're just natural, it's going to be confusing to you. If you're not spiritual and you haven't surrendered your life to Yahushua HaMashiach or who the world calls Jesus the Messiah, it's going to be hard for you to navigate. I, I couldn't, man, when I was in the world, man, I couldn't, man, I always had to get, have something to drink. Not always, but when I got, when I got a drink, I got drunk. It wasn't just a glass of beer. We had what they would call 40 ounces of beer back then. And I would drink two 40s. So I hope this encourages you. I just wanted to stop my day, but I got to start my, my, my schedule right now. But I felt that the Holy Spirit was telling me to share this with you men. I get it. I know what it feels like to be disappointed. And could you imagine even having... Uh, something like a documentary on ESPN. We're excited and everything. And I've been doing the nonprofit work with my wife and close friends and companions for over 20 years. And then no one can see the documentary because unfortunately ESPN plus doesn't have the reach as the, their sister uh, platforms, um, Hulu and Disney plus. But does that mean the most high can't get more out of that documentary? Do you think he can use that film to help boys of all ethnicity navigate through the, their negative emotions, their traumas, the things that they've gone through, their fears? Of course he still can. But it's only when we're anxious, uh, we get soulless. Like, why isn't it happening now? God operates in the fullness of time, not when we want things done. And I, I had to realize that <laughs> again. So this is uh, uh, the process of renewing the mind. When you see ING, it's a continuation. You got to keep fighting to do it. Renew your mind. Romans 12, read Romans 12, 1 and 2. When you're no longer conformed to the ways of the world and its expectations. When you understand that marketing outside of Yah's Holy Spirit is nothing but man's effort you start leveling off the turbulent uh, thoughts and everything else starts leveling off and you begin to fly straight again so don't be down on yourself when you're feeling down take a moment it may take you a moment to reflect so you can release and reset but don't stay there get up I'm just being transparent with you I was down like down, down. Didn't see things change. Like, man, I had my hope all in this and it's not happening. And then the Most High said, son, that's your timing. And then I always remember, even when I write my books, what if the documentary, what if your author in that book you spent hours and hours and hours writing, months writing, 
only sells, say, a hundred copies. But what if the Most High used you to write that book for one person? And that one person needed to read what he gave you to write so that they or he can use them to save a million people. I was recently told that, uh, why are you concerned when you're just the pen? When you throw a pen on a table, it, it's useless if no one grabs it and uses it. And that's all we are as men of the Most High. We're tools in the Master's hands. And when we take the focus off of us and our desires and the way we see things should be, we can finally be present in the moment that he has us living in. Shalom.